Can you keep your mind sharp as you age by playing so-called brain games? A report today by the AARP focused on what's become a $1.3 billion business. Dr. Tara Narula takes a look. Ready to challenge your brain? Ads for online brain training games tout their cognitive benefits, saying they improve memory, brain speed, and attention. But today's report called the evidence behind these claims of cognitive benefits weak to non-existent. Sarah Locke is executive director of the AARP's Global Council on Brain Health. They might get better at the game, but what we don't know is how that's going to affect your everyday functioning. Training to improve one type of cognitive ability, say memory, doesn't end up improving another skill, such as how fast you process information. And the report says there's often exaggerating when these products are marketed. Last year, the FTC fined the makers of Lumosity $2 million for claiming their games could help users reduce or delay age-related cognitive impairment. The good news is that cognitively stimulating activities are easy to find. For example, learning a new skill. At the Greenwich House Senior Center, Betty Tiago is taking up art. I think anything creative helps to st stimulate your brain. And Dr. Tara Narula is with us now. Tara, the AARP recommends we do things to stimulate our brain. But what exactly are those things? So these are things that are novel, that require attention and focus, and have a level of depth of engagement. Some of the things they recommend are educational opportunities that can be formal or informal, doing things that you used to love to do, even volunteering, learning a new skill like music or language, leisure activities like playing cards, playing with your grandkids, and then things that are mentally and physically challenging like tennis or dancing. A form of exercise, if you will, but for the mind. Exactly. Tara Narula, thanks very much.